<laughs> Gigi and Gus are in the bath with their mom, Grace. Whee! This is fun! Mom, where did baths come from? That's a great question, Gigi. Let me tell you a story. Grace begins to tell the story of the history of baths. Let's travel back in time with a time machine and see it for ourselves. You should dry off first so you don't catch a cold. <laughs> the time machine lands in ancient Iran where people used public baths called Hammam. Look at all these people taking a bath together. How did they heat the water? They used fire and wood to heat the stones in the bath. The stones were heated and their heat transferred to the water, making it warm. Gus, press the time machine button. Let's go. <laughs> the time machine takes them to ancient Rome, where the siblings see people enjoying the famous Roman baths. These baths are huge! They look like swimming pools! Grace explains how the Romans used baths not only for hygiene, but also for relaxation and socialising. Let's go to the Middle Ages! <laughs> The time machine takes them back to the Middle Ages, where people heated water and used tubs or basins for bathing. <gasps> so people bathed in their houses? Yes, Gus. But only the rich had access to private baths. Technology and plumbing advances have made bathing more accessible to everyone. That was really interesting. I'm ready to go back to our bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> the time machine takes them back to modern times where the giraffe family talks about their experiences together. It's amazing how far bathing has come. I'm glad we don't have to bathe with strangers like they used to. <laughs> <laughs> The family finishes their bath and feels grateful for the history of bathing that has led to their current hygiene. <laughs>